You know, there was a time in surfing. Maybe you could call it surfing's golden age. Before it was cool. Before Gidget, maybe. When surfers were wild, expelled from society, and probably by choice, they found the sea better than the society they had been cast out of. So they spent their lives out in the water. Nobody understood what they were doing out there. Maybe they didn't understand it. But they knew they needed it. Because when the surf was flat, they fished. Or they dove. And when the wind picked up, they sailed. But they never got out of the water. When they were in the water, they were living. Everything else? Well, everything else was just waiting. And this attitude seems to have disappeared in the surfing world and lost somewhere along the way. The surfing culture has left the beach. It's lost its salt. It's fizzled out and dried up somewhere inland. But still, whether they're weaving through the crowds of yuppies and yahoos at the beach or off on the fringe, alone, finding refuge in the sea, there are still a few who choose to lead a lifestyle supported by the ocean. They choose to stay salty. Can't see.